Hello, hello. Um, hello from Miss Lopez live. So, um, this video is all about phase two. So if you look at my previous video, that was about phase one. This is phase, phase two. In phase two, children are introduced to letters and their sounds, okay? So they, it kind of goes through most of the letters of the alphabet, not all. Um, and this video, so lots of parents asked, um, have kind of asked for help with how letters should sound and a little bit about blending and segmenting. I'll come on to that um, in a little while. So this video, I'm in this video, I'm going to go through the sounds that the letters should be making, um, practicing reading words and practicing writing. And then I'll give you some ideas for games that you might want to play. Okay, so I've opted for, I know that the letters are backwards, but um, this video is not for children. This is more for parents. So I hope that you can, it's okay. I just, I just couldn't work it out and it just wasn't working and it was taking a lot of time. And I just wanted to get this out to help you for tomorrow before, um, I'd say the madness starts again. I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to call it madness, but before the homeschooling starts again. Okay. So let's go through the sounds. I'm going to show you how you should be sounding them out. So what it should sound like. Okay. Because it's very normal to get it wrong. When I started my teacher training, um, I was saying it wrong because I was doing what I did as a child or just what I thought was right. But here's the way that the letters should sound. So we've got H. So I hope you can kind of get the gist of what letter it is. It's just going to be backwards. Ah. Oh. G. It's a really short one. G. G. D. Okay, so that, those were the sounds um, in phase two. Okay, so blending. Blending is what children use for reading. Okay, so when you're reading words, children look at the letters and then they blend them together to be able to read them, okay? So I'm going to show you an example of what blending should look, should sound like. So if your child is reading the word cat, it should sound like, and I would really get them to practice putting their finger under the sound so that they're then looking at it. Or if you're doing like robot arms at home, doing a robot arm for each sound. Okay, so really segmenting those, like kind of differentiating those sounds. So let's have a go at cat. K, a, t, cat, or k, a, t, cat. Get them to say it all together, okay? That's a really important thing that after they've sounded it out, they say the word all together. So k, a, cat okay segmenting segmenting is hearing the word and then kind of breaking it up to be able to write it okay so for example you might give your child the word do you know dog is a really tricky word sometimes for them so let's give them mum or oh, one of my favorite words mum okay so you say the word mum and then you want them to kind of hear the sounds in that word so you can kind of really sometimes you can really exaggerate it, especially at the beginning exaggerate the word to help them so mum can you write mum for me and then they should be like mm, i can hear mm, ah, mm, mum and really get them to try and hear those sounds. And if you're finding reading or writing really tricky, and do you know what, that can happen even in the classroom where they are enthused and they are happy and you know we do it at the right time of the day and we've put everything in place, which I imagine you're doing, sometimes it's just not working and they are not engaged and they are not enjoying it. 
go back to basics, go back to phase one, go back to you saying, doing, you know, getting your cuddly toy and getting them to whisper words in your ears and the child just orally blending or orally segmenting rather than writing and reading, okay? Always make it, the biggest thing about phonics, and actually we as teachers are told this, is make it snappy, make it fun, make it like move around, make it engaging, okay? Um, so as well as sounds, children are also introduced to tricky words, okay? Um, tricky words are basically words that can't be, um, you can't sound them out, okay? Um, and these words, they just literally need to know them off by heart. They need to see them and know them. There's not, like, don't try and sound out tricky words. Do not, if you do, there's anything that you don't do, do not sound out tricky words. Sometimes you can say, oh, what sound can you see at the beginning? But even then, like, for example, with words like the, that doesn't work, okay? So here are some words. So you literally want them to see it, know it. So you flash at them and they know it. You see it, like you learn it. There's n there's nothing more to tricky words. I know it's a bit tricky, but that's the, only, that's the only one that's kind of rote learning. And it's just because the English language is so complicated. So I'll just show you some of the tricky words. You've got my, go, into, be, their favourite word, no, <laughs> the, to, and me, their second favourite word. Um, all of this that I'm saying and any game ideas that I have are all from the letters and sound document online. That's what we use um, in my school. So letters and sound document online, it's all there. I'm just kind of showing you how we might play the games or how the ideas work. So um, a game that you might want to play similar to the phase one is matching the picture with the word. So um, having those phase two words, again, you can Google phase two words, writing them out on a piece of paper and then having a picture for the child to match them. Remember to make it fun, make it engaging. Another word is that we often do nonsense words because of the tests that they have in year one. Um, let's not. Let's not talk about testing. Um, but because of the test, children need to be able to differentiate between real words and nonsense words. So there's a cool game that you can play so you can kind of make words up using those sounds and then you can have real words and get the children to read the words. You might have treasure or um, treasure or trash or you might have a picture of them and then an alien. So if you're reading a real word, they can have the word. And if you're reading a nonsense word, for example, like... I, G, SIG, which is not a word, you say, oh, that's a nonsense word, and really exaggerate it and make it fun, stick it in the bin or give it to the alien, it's a nonsense word, but that's all part of them practicing their letters and sounds. Um, I realise I haven't done how to write um, letters, please let me know in the comments below or DM me if you think that would be helpful, and actually then I'd have to get maybe my mum to help me film it so that it's the right way around for you guys. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Um, as always, remember, I'm not Instagram, I'm not YouTube queen. So I'm sure that there were errors in that. But I hope it was helpful. I hope that you enjoy your learning with your child as always. And I hope to see you for story time. Please remember you can DM me anytime, any questions or any queries. I'm happy to like watch little videos if you just want to check that you're doing the right thing. Um, also, I just love hearing like how everyone's doing and um, success stories or not so successful stories of how your days have been. But sending lots of love as always. Um, stay safe, stay home, lots of positive energy. See you later.